Well, I must say I've seen a lot of messed up situations, but this time situation has to be 100% A plus on the top of the list. Uh, I don't believe you would really want me to say my real feelings about the time situation. Well, I, I've been of the opinion that Indiana, Indiana ought to have one time and that we shouldn't be divided and that uh, the intention of Congress uh, was to have a uniform time within the state, yet the way the present time law is drafted and our state bisected by a timeline, there is no way on this earth that we can have uniform time in Indiana. Senator, your opponent celebrated his 36th birthday last week and made reference to your age of 40 by saying he was the youth candidate. Would you care to comment on that? <laughs> Have you heard of, uh, of young fogies? Uh, <laughs> Senator, why is gun control legislation having so much trouble in Congress? Well, this is a very uh, controversial thing. I, I think there is a need for us to uh, look at the laws which we presently have and see how we can uh, enforce them, for one thing, uh, to deal with a person who uses a weapon. But I think there are two other areas where attention can be given. One is in the closer control of hand weapons. Indiana has a, a handgun law now that you have to be licensed to carry one. Very few other states do. I think if we deal with the hand weapon, we're going to be dealing with the weapon that uh, is used in about 75% of all the crime. Secondly, the mail order sale. 25% uh, of all mail order weapons are shipped to people who have criminal records. It just makes sense. Uh, if you're if you're going to rob a bank, it's much easier to order it through the mail where nobody can see your face and to go into a local sports store. So I think if we put limitations on interstate mail order sales, perhaps providing a special provision in which uh, uh, antique gun collectors and this type of citizen who is dealing with a weapon that really is not going to be involved in the crime, that they have a special way of, of obtaining these uh, collector's pieces. In these two areas, I think we will have made significant progress, and I think we're going to get a bill this session, frankly. Have any of your constituents complained about the surtax, which has started taking bites out of their paychecks? Well, nobody likes to, uh, to vote for increased taxes. I did not vote for the surtax bill. The reason I didn't is I was concerned about the, the fact that at this moment it might have too much of a depressive effect. And uh, I have made an effort, along with many others, to deal with the other aspect of trying to cut back expenditures. Uh, the administration proposal, which ultimately passed, was a double barrel proposal with the surtax increase and cutting back expenditures too. I'm afraid that that might be just a little bit too much than our economy needs right now. And so uh, my support has been toward the cutting areas, cutting back expenditures to try to come closer to balancing the budget. 